Hey guys, welcome back to Robinson Foundry. So at the start of 2021, I decided to go all in with my channel and try to turn it into something successful. It's been almost a year, and in that time I've made a bunch of cool projects, 30 videos, and gained almost 150,000 subscribers. That's so cool. And I just wanted to take a second to thank all of you for supporting my channel, whether it's through subscribing or just simply watching the videos. Thank you. To celebrate the 100,000 subscriber mark, I thought it'd be really cool to cast a full-size YouTube play button using this one kilogram silver bar. As usual, I started this project in Fusion 360. I found the dimensions of the old style play button awards that YouTube sent out to creators and based my model around those. Once I had my model drawn up, it was time to 3D print it. I printed this model using my resin 3D printer. These printers use UV light to gradually cure thin layers of photosensitive resin, and they do an amazing job at printing very detailed objects. Check out this time lapse showing the print appear to grow out of the vat of resin. This took almost five hours to print. Once the model was done printing, I removed it from the build plate and washed off any excess resin and isopropyl alcohol. Then I just peeled off the supports, which can sometimes be really satisfying. It's almost like tearing apart Velcro. At this point, the resin still needed to be fully cured, so I placed it under a UV light for a few minutes. I designed this model with a small lip on the edge, which helped it print with as little distortion as possible. I used a file to remove that and then sanded the whole thing down. I designed this model to be cast in an open face mold. By casting the play button like this, I can ensure that the casting would end up being exactly one kilogram. I made this mold using an oil bonded casting sand called Petrobond. As you can see, this is a really easy process and it's definitely one that I would recommend to someone just starting out. Here's the one kilo silver bar I melted. The current spot price as of the time of this video being published is about $725. I have to say, it was actually kind of difficult to bring myself to melt this thing down because it's actually pretty cool like this, but that's what I bought it for. It took about 30 minutes to completely melt in my homemade furnace. Pure silver looks so cool when it's molten. It's the most reflective metal, so it looks like a liquid mirror. I let the silver heat up to about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit and then very carefully poured it into the mold, making sure not to splash any. I love the way that silver looks as it's slowly solidifying. I'll add the unedited clips at the end of this video for anybody who's as mesmerized as I am. Now this is crazy. Right after the top surface appeared to have solidified, little silver sprouts started shooting up. Unfortunately, I was in the middle of moving my camera, otherwise I would have captured better footage. What a strange thing. I did a little research and apparently this is the result of oxygen, which was absorbed during the melt, being released from the center, which pushes out these little silver sprouts and bubbles. As interesting as this was, it meant that my finished play button wouldn't be exactly one kilogram after removing the sprouts. Because the sprouts and bubbles were so porous, they actually just peeled right off the surface. 
If you enjoy watching my videos and you want to help me continue to make them, you can do so by checking out some of the affiliate links in the description. I'll list some of the items that I've used in this video as well as any products that I would recommend. I used some pieces of fine grit sandpaper to clean up the inside of the play button and then I used my die grinder and some fine abrasive wheels to smooth out the rest. Then I polished the entire casting with a polishing wheel and some metal polish. I decided to stamp the back with some cheap metal stamps that I got at Harbor Freight. Whoever packaged this smaller set decided that it would be better if I received two C's instead of a C and a B. So I ended up making my own letter B using an I and a 3, which ended up looking decent enough. It's really difficult to do a good job with stamps like these, but I think this actually turned out pretty nice. After I moved the silver sprouts and bubbles, it ended up weighing 980 grams. I polished the play button one last time with some semi-chrome metal polish on a microfiber cloth and this thing was done. Well I think this thing turned out looking really nice and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it. I wonder if this is the only full-size pure silver YouTube play button around. Let me know if you guys have seen another one. Well I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for future projects. As always, thank you for watching and thank you to everybody who has helped support this channel. I certainly could not have done it without you.